What's going on guys, Nick Hellman here, aka the Crypto Hitman, and yes, you are looking at the Bitcoin chart. Now, unlike the majority of the people who were following at the highs and the potential of the Bitcoin spot ETF coming, we were sidelined during the time period and telling people not to chase the pump. When I said that a Bitcoin spot ETF approval would send a green candle straight to 50000 then we would have a sell-off, I was told, why so bearish? Well, guess what? We got the Bitcoin spot ETF approval and we went to 49000 not even my 50000 objective. So I guess I was wrong. We did plummet down. And now we are continuing to work lower. Last video, I kind of talked about some of the price targets we had. First of all, we have this uptrend line that dates all the way back to this first fake ETF news and this rally back here in October. It has maintained that today. We also have the mental barrier, this support line are just above $40,000 right around in that area. Look where we went. The cross section of this uptrend line and the $40,000 barrier is exactly where price action held. Now, on top of it, holding both those levels and us seeing this bullish, bullish divergence where the price goes lower, uh, the price goes lower, but the RSI does hold. That is a bullish divergence here on the four hour. We do not see this divergence on the one hour, and we do not see this divergence on the daily. And I'm still kind of leaning towards lower prices. Yes, lower prices. Next targets are down here at this previous uptrend line. This is an important one that dates back all the way to the last bull market. That would be somewhere above 36,000, 36,2, depends on the timing of that. And I've had this green line on here forever. This is the no-brainer. Close your eyes, hold your breath, and buy Bitcoin at just above $33,000. Now, if you are in our private group, patreon.com slash learn crypto, you know exactly where we have some buy limit orders for 50% of our Bitcoin position as we've been looking for this downturn. I can't give that to you guys free here on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube just yet, but stay tuned. Just want to do this quick video. Show you that price action continues to sell off. We continue to fall below the 200 moving average, below and getting rejected at the 300 moving average. But we did, if you are bullish, have a bullish divergence here on the 4-hour. We maintained this uptrend line and we whipped off this resistance line. Again, I draw all these lines in real time. I haven't modified these. Go look at my previous videos. And the price action continues to be magnets to these lines. The power of technical analysis can be in your hands. Or, not, I don't know, educate yourself, follow me, learn from me. I'm sure I have something to learn from you, but here we go. These are levels we're watching on Bitcoin. Although we got the bullish divergent, I still think there's possibility of another sell-off in Bitcoin. Stay tuned. We'll see. We'll see what Grayscale is doing. Uh, people, the, a lot of Bitcoin is getting sent over to Coinbase and being sold. That is not Grayscale selling that per se. It's people selling out of the GPTC. Therefore, Grayscale has to defund or lower the funding of their product. That's the way ETFs work. People are going on to other ETFs because buy lower fees than Grayscale is 1.5%. Or maybe they're just getting a spot Bitcoin themselves. Or they were just speculators buying GPTC due to the discount. Now that the discount has... Uh, diminished to nearly zero with this ETF. The easy trade is over. Now on to the next thing. Well, let's take a look. Let's follow. And uh hate to say it, guys, I'm bullish on Bitcoin in the long term, but I wouldn't mind another drop. Would not mind another drop. 